The Trump administration, well known for suppressing information and denying climate change, was forced to release a statement about climate change, that it's real and that people are causing it. <laughs> That's the natural cut to that. Um, so it's it's interesting. I, it's first of all, it's sad that this is headline uh, that mm. they were forced to do this. Um, but recently, a major scientific report that was published under the Trump administration uh, concluded that the climate is warming, people are doing it, and that it's affecting everyday Americans. Mm. Um, you know, I mean, it's a pretty well accepted fact by uh, most scientists. And I would say people. an overwhelming majority of scientists and most people as well uh, that this is a thing and it's real and denying it does no good to anyone besides the corporatists who make money off of it. It is an inconvenient truth. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. Growing up, you know, you, you hear all these things that science progressed, and science isn't always right, but science well, usually disproves the science. Disproved about science, science. Is if it's wrong, they're just going to go try again, and if yeah. things get disproven, that's fine because at least we know more than we knew before. Yeah, you learn. It's not being attached to a certain uh, idea, and then just even if facts disprove it, clinging to it for dear life for no good mm -hmm. reason. It's understanding that. Things are in fluctuation. We learn more every day. Sometimes things get proven. Sometimes things don't get proven, and that's still good. Failure and it's not is like fine. Science usually ends up disproving science. Something happens that a science fact proves, and then science comes back and goes, "Oh, we were wrong about that." It's never hopes and dreams that disprove science. Right. It's not like we're like the world is round. Like, but I want it to be flat. But I it's like ridiculous. triangles. Facts, yeah. <laughs> knowledge, and information weirdly tends to tell you what's wrong. And when you're seeing these things happen with no other explanation, maybe follow the science and the fact. And it's kind of wonderful. I love it that even though it wasn't by their choice that they had to post this report because it's kind of giving credo to fact and making people read it, I hope. As opposed to you know, blanket covering up of different links that would be yeah. talking about climate science or making weird requirements for the White House Commission on Climate Science. Uh, but the reason they were forced to do this was due to the National Climate Assessment, which was mandated by Congress back in 1990. And those behind it released a, released a new update every year, every few years. The last one came out in 2014. It was time for another one in 2017. So there was nothing they could do to stop it, and that's why mm -hmm. it's kind of fun for people like me who are jerks about it uh, to see this happen. But it's I do like that, look, you can say whatever rhetoric is convenient to you, but the fact that these are provable mm -hmm. things doesn't change. The way you feel about a fact doesn't change that it's a fact, as you said earlier. Ignoring and things, putting your head in the sand or sticking your fingers in your ear and going la 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 never makes the problem better. You at least have to acknowledge that there is something wrong and then figure out why it's happening. And it's kind of nice that these checks and balances, perhaps, that we put into play earlier are causing people to address what's actually happening right now. I mean, we can't ignore any problem, let alone things that actually are affecting us right now. I mean, this year alone has been insane. And we're just gonna pretend like, well, it was just an off year. No, it's nice that we years ago put something into play that would force us to at least talk about it now, a I, little bit. I think it's important that we have that there or yeah. that we don't stop uh, sticking to what we can actually prove and what actually has research and data behind it as opposed to this is what I say, this is fake news, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. I hate saying that phrase, but it's terrible. It's, I, I, you have to be vigilant about it. You have, if you, I'm not gonna say believe in something, but if you know something to be true based on provable science, then I think it's important that you stand by it. Now the question remains, will this report affect how the Trump administration handles science? Answer, nope, but you can <laughs> continue to do your very ready best to continue the <laughs> insistence that this is a thing and that we should be paying attention to data as opposed to what some demagogue has to say. I do, Feel bad, no I don't. I don't feel bad about this at all because in 2018 another report is due, so keep your eyes out for that. I yes. do think that what, what's most important right now, and I think any intelligent person, whatever your belief, should subscribe to this, is a conversation needs to happen. And things like this being forced through, even an administration that doesn't want it, is at least 
hopefully forcing the conversation. Talk about whatever the problems are so we can figure out how to address them. But ignoring the problem has never worked for really any governments and usually suppression turns out bad. I'm pretty sure history has shown that. Yes. Like repeatedly. Mm -hmm. So hopefully something like this will at least strike up a conversation, even if you're against it for whatever reason. Talk about it, because I'd love to hear why you're against it, what you think the reasons are.